Hey guys, the purpose of this video is another integration video. It's an integration with Zapier into one of your funnels. Hi guys, this is one of almost six plus hours of videos I've added in my Ultimate Guide to ClickFunnels course. In the course, I cover everything you ever thought you wanted to know about ClickFunnels, including an introduction to ClickFunnels, the ClickFunnels layout, including funnel editor and email editor, any integration you would ever want or need to use with ClickFunnels, from payment processors to autoresponders to analytics to the Facebook ad pixel. Plus, I also cover the 22 different funnels that exist that could be giving your business the foundation it needs to succeed. And I cover exactly how ClickFunnels fits into your business. And any course about ClickFunnels couldn't be complete unless it covered how to use other people's products to do affiliate marketing with ClickFunnels. I sell this course for $197 on cfultimateguide.com slash ultimate guide to ClickFunnels course, but you can see how you can get this course valued at $197 for free when you sign up for ClickFunnels today by visiting cfultimateguide.com slash free 14 day trial or by clicking the affiliate link in the description below. Thanks everyone, and good luck with your funnel and marketing efforts in your business. If you retrieve a contact from one of your funnels, let's say somebody signs up for uh, something you're giving away or uh, for a special offer, or they just purchased something and you got their contact info and you wanna send that over to a Google Drive spreadsheet, well, you can do that automatically with Zapier. So. Um, Zapier has tons of integrations with it and um, they uh, have thousands of different pieces of software so um, if you want you can look uh, on their website this is Zapier apps integrations and you could search through here but basically the point of Zapier is to connect one piece of software to another piece of software and uh, ClickFunnels is in Zapier and you can connect ClickFunnels to any one of these other applications. Um, you just have to set up what they call the Zap yourself. But um, there are some pre-constructed uh, Zaps that you can just automatically use, and I'm gonna show you where to do that uh, with, within ClickFunnels. Um, but for me, I've got the, uh, you'll see here, I've got the free plan, and um, if you want, you can upgrade, but um, you can set up a Zap uh, it, with the free plan and you can have ClickFunnels sending data to a Google Drive spreadsheet uh, automatically for you with a Zap connected. Now this could be helpful, like what, what would be the purpose of doing something like that? Like what are you gonna use that for later? Well, you can use that for any number of things later on, but uh, one big thing that people normally do is uh, they'll, they'll take a list that they get from ClickFunnels and they'll take all the emails that they got and they'll export them and they'll take them over to Facebook and they'll start advertising to them on Facebook. Uh, Cause you can build audiences on Facebook and you can build like um, custom audiences where you're targeting, uh, you're, you're uh, running ads directly to those users who have given you their email address or you are running ads to a lookalike audience uh, uh, for users who have given you their e email address either through signing up for something or uh, making a purchase. So um, it's very useful and it saves you a lot of time so you don't have to go uh, automatically do uh, that you don't have to go manually do this later. So we're on the dashboard here and um, I'm just going to go to funnels and we're going to go then to uh, one of the funnels that I have and uh, then, so this is the funnel page for one of the funnels I have. And then to get to uh, look and see at the Zapier integrations and to do this very quickly within ClickFunnels, just go to settings. And then down here, you can see uh, there's a Zapier option. And um, this, in, in this particular case, I just want to add new ClickFunnels contacts to the Google, uh, to Google Drive Sheets. So that's what this, uh, these icons are for. This is for ClickFunnels, obviously, and this is for Google Drive. So this is the zap I want to use. And of course, these two look similar, but this one's for orders and this one's for contacts. So I'm going to do the one with zaps. So I'm going to, I'm going to reload. Uh, I've, I sort of went through this already on my own so I could verify how it all worked, but um, 
it's loading Zapier right now, so give it, give it just a second while it loads. I'm going to close this all together and try again. Refresh. All right, so here it is. It's coming in. So it's got my ClickFunnels icon, my Google Drive Sheets icon, and this is exactly what I want. I do want to create this app. You saw on the other uh, tab that I had open that I'm already logged in, so it knows I'm, it knows who I am, and uh, so yeah, I want to take new contact in uh, activity from ClickFunnels. So, so I'm going to select that and then uh, search your ClickFunnels accounts. I've already connected an account. Um, let me see if I can remove accounts, so I can do this all the way from scratch. Connected accounts, here we go. So I accidentally uh, connected the, the same account twice. So I'm just gonna disconnect, really disconnect, yes, really disconnect. And so then this way we can see this from scratch. Let me see if I can refresh this by any chance to stay on the same page. If not, I'll just start the zap over. Okay, so here we are. This is like as if you have not connected an account at all for ClickFunnels. So I'll say yes, connect an account. And since I'm logged into ClickFunnels, it automatically logs in and um, I can test. And yes, it says that it's successful. So I'm gonna save and continue. And okay, so I wanna see advanced options, set up a ClickFunnels contact. So which funnel should we watch for new contacts? So they can watch either all funnels, which is very helpful, or they can watch a particular funnel. Let's go ahead and pull in the particular funnel that we're looking at, right? So the one we're looking at is the .com secrets bridge page. And we want them to look only at the opt-in page, the opt-in funnel step. So that's it. I just want this one funnel to send over to the Google Drive sheet. Now, it looks like they can do it with almost any of the funnels on almost any funnel step, and they'll look, they'll just watch it to see if there's anything that's coming in. Uh, but this is what I want. I just wanted to do one. Okay, so then it says make sure I have at least one contact created and make sure it uh, matches the trigger options I picked below. So the trigger options were um, related to contact activity and uh, specifically that for the funnel and uh, for this funnel and for this funnel step. So I'm gonna say fetch and continue so I can confirm that this is gonna work. Now I'm, I wanted to show my Google Drive spreadsheet so that we could watch the, the contact come in. So the test was successful. I'm gonna view the contact. Look at all this information that ClickFunnels just gives you on a contact if it's available. So you could literally save any one of these fields to your Google Drive sheet, especially if it's populated. You could even save it if it wasn't populated, but of course it makes sense. In our case, we are just um, trying to make sure that one piece is populated. Okay, I don't need any of this right now. I just wanted to look at it, so I'm gonna continue. All right, so I'm gonna create a spreadsheet row. This is the action that Google is gonna take, right? So ClickFunnels had uh, a trigger based on the contact activity. And now this is the action that Google is going to take. They're going to create a spreadsheet row. And um, I've already connected my Google Drive uh, to this, just like I did with ClickFunnels. It just had me log in. So um, similar setup. You just connect your Google Drive account uh, to, your, uh, to Zapier here. So let's continue forward, save and continue. OK, so which spreadsheet do we want to add it to? It's looking up the spreadsheets that are part of this test. So I want the ClickFunnels app test. That's the one we see right here. And then the worksheet is uh, sheet one. So I can create multiple worksheets on here, but I only want it on sheet one. And then it's gonna give me the option to select, as we're testing here, uh, what to add to the spreadsheet. So I've selected them. I just came over here and clicked the plus icon on both of these. And then I click continue and watch this. Whenever I click continue, this is going to get populated. Okay, it will get populated when I click send test to Google Sheets. So here it goes. 
boom. So I didn't do anything. Zapier automatically sent it over and it will from here on out whenever uh, somebody signs up on the dot com funnel on the dot com secrets funnel bridge uh, or bridge funnel. Um, so my zap is turned on. I could either make another zap or see it on my dashboard. And that's all I needed to do. So I don't have to do anything else. I'm going to close this out. And now I have this ClickFunnels and uh, Google Drive Zap turned on and connected. So anytime I were to add another contact to that funnel, so if I'm back here and I copy the URL to clipboard, load this page, send the report. So Brad test and one of my emails. Then I say click to sign up. It will submit and it should come over here. I know Zapier tests, I think once every two minutes. So we'll just sit here for a second, see if it comes over here. All right. We'll sit here and wait probably just for a minute. And uh, let's see what we have for integrations. I'm gonna go look at Zapier real quick see if there's any way we can tell and um, I might look at settings real quick as well let's look at settings on Zapier to see how often they are supposed to check and see if something's supposed to come over All right, so we can see that's turned on. I'm still, I know that there's a time setting that I'm looking for. So give me just a second here. Let's look at this together. Oh, it popped in automatically. I couldn't find the setting, but you see uh, it wasn't instant, but um, Zapier does a periodic check. I think, I, like I said, I think it's like once every two minutes and I saw that in here somewhere and I'm just, I can't find it anymore. I know there's a setting. I think you can check more or less, uh, more frequently or less frequently and um, it will pull any new information in. So um, yeah, the time delay right now isn't important. You saw how quick it was. It was just a tiny bit of a delay, but um, yeah, we got to see it pop populate while we were sitting here waiting for it. So. So that's all we have for the ClickFunnels Zapier integration, and um, that's how to do Zapier within ClickFunnels. Thanks, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Hey, guys. So I wanted to follow up real quick and show you exactly uh, where or how long the polling lasts. I found it on Zapier, and they said all updates this is their polling trigger. So they pull the application every once in a while. They will check with ClickFunnels and they say they do it in five or 15 minute windows. And they, that's how frequently they pull. And then um, you can, and they say they do that based on your uh, subscription plan. So determined by your Zapier subscription plan. And if you look at the options uh, besides free, they pull uh, every 15 minutes, five minutes, five minutes, five minutes. So this is, is, so it's completely dependent upon your plan. And if you do free, obviously we saw it, it just happened to hit right when we were looking at it. So it probably would wait f for the free plan, I would guess 15 minutes after the most recent poll. And they just check back in with ClickFunnels to see if any new data is there. And if it is there, then they bring it in. If nothing is new, then they leave it alone. So. So that's it. I didn't want to leave that hanging. I just wanted to give you guys all the data I could and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.